Good morning. <sighs> it is super fally out here right now. It's kind of chilly, but it's super cute with all the leaves falling, the fog. I'm ready to go mushroom hunting. Um, yeah, just gonna walk around for a little bit, see what's out there. And then I'm probably gonna head back home to base camp today. So that's kind of sad, but this area is really cool. I'm gonna have to come back here someday. But yeah, that's the plan. Take some more macro photos, hopefully. And find some cool sheep. This is another campground where you can just walk to the trails. I love it. I just got this new shirt, isn't it cute? Felt like it was very Halloween-y. So I just got on the trail and I found an Isaiah, or it was Isaria, but now it's Cordyceps to Nepsis. So I showed you guys this one in another video. You can probably barely see it. Right there. So if I dig it up, we'll find the host. And try to get like under it. See all those spores? This one, you'll get covered in spores. If you grow Cordyceps militaris, you better not go near this because it'll contaminate your whole grow. So I'm trying to get under it. Pull it up. Oh, there she is. Oop. Oop. Cool. Yeah, these are one of the most common Entomopathic fungi that I found. So I found these little slime molds growing on a log, and for some reason, these always remind me of that SpongeBob episode where he rides around on that rock. It's not just a boulder, it's a rock. I would like to ride around on that. Um, so I think these are wolf's milk slime molds. There's one over here, there's some over here too. I assume it's the same kind. And these will be, have powder or a juicy, it's feeling pretty juicy actually. So, oh yeah. So they start off pink and then they kind of get to this color and I should let the spores mature more. But yeah, first it starts off juicy and then it gets dry and the spores puff out. So that's wolf's milk slime mold. Check it out, I found the pink version. So this is the same kind of thing, wolf's milk slime mold, but this is a younger version of it. So it's still pink, super cute, little slime mold. And then we got some asco corn over here, little cup fungi. Cute little log, we got a tiny little. Oh, yes, more asco corn and. What the heck is this weirdo? I have never seen anything like this. I'm pretty sure it's a mushroom. Yeah, it's got like a little base. What? It's like a little brain. I wonder if it's something that just grew. Weird, like I think these are the gills. Kinda looks entoloma y. What? That's freaking awesome. I'm gonna take that back. I'm gonna take some more pictures of it. Because what the hell? What the hell? That's freaking weird. I've never seen anything like that. Neato. What the heck? Check it out, this sweet stick I just found. So this is a really cool looking lichen. And I think that might look really cool in macro photography. So I think I'll take that back with me. See what we can get out of it. Lichens are cool because they're just everywhere. And they're actually a symbiotic relationship between fungi and an algae. So the fungi provides like a little space for the algae to hide from the sun and uh, it protects it and the algae sends sugars to the fungi in return so they're homies 
working together and it won't produce this shape unless both of those organisms are together. So it's pretty cool. Lichens help create soil. They break down rocks and creates uh, just smaller particles for plants to be able to take up. So they do a lot and they're everywhere. They're cute too. Got my lichen stick with me. Sometimes I feel like I'm just like my doggy. We both like to collect sticks in the woods. Sticks are awesome. You never know what you find on them. Seems like I got some rain here recently. Looks like we have another aborted entoloma here, shrimp of the woods. So yeah, these are edible. Not super yummy, but so I'm not gonna take them, but yeah, these are kind of everywhere right now. It's a good fall mushroom to find. We got some more honeys over here. They're just everywhere right now. Look at this weirdo. It's growing upside down. Sir, excuse me. Ooh. Oh, he's like hanging by a thread. What the heck? It's kind of cool. Looks like some little bleed or something. This funny. We got some more Corsaboria here. This one's pretty good. They're so cute. Man, it's just covered with it. I don't want to take this, but I don't really want to drag this all the way back to camp. But super pretty. I love those guys. Hey, I think this is more of that wrinkled saccharilla that we found the other day. And this one's like a giant one. The caps are so cool looking. Cute. Looks like we found a little puffball paradise over here. There's lots of them. Oh, look at that cute little snail. Oh my God. I gotta get a picture of that real quick. Whoa. Wah. Holy shit. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Why did I do that? Holy shit, there's a lot of spores, ew. Pop balls are fun. So I found this really cool looking mushroom. It's got this really cool stipe and like little, what's going on? It's little like scales on the pilus. And I didn't know what it was, so I looked it up, and I think this is it. Lyraceomyces squamosis. Really beautiful. I've never seen one like it before. iNaturalist does it's pretty good sometimes. At least helps you get close. 
but yeah, that's a good one. The Ratio Mices. We got a nice little turkey tail log here. Super beautiful medicinal fungi that's used in teas and tinctures. Gorgeous. Sometimes I get so busy just staring at the ground looking for mushrooms. I forget to look at the trees and look for mushrooms growing on trees too. Oh, hey, speaking of which, what the heck is this? Honey is growing up there? Oh, it looks like it. Yeah, cute. I really would like to find a lion's mane. Really super yummy mushroom. I used to grow it and found it wild sometimes, but I haven't seen any this year. But that's probably because I'm too busy looking at the ground and I forget to look at the trees. I need like one person to come look at trees and then I'll look at the ground and we'll cover all the bases together. That's the way you do it. Cutest little brown little fellas. Really beautiful big gills too. Just growing under this log here. There's a couple different ones. I'm not sure the species on this, but really nice to take pictures of. Check out this cute little fella. This is a inky cap mushroom. Look how like delicate it is. I think it is called the delicate inky cap or something like that. But yeah, so these will turn into like an inky goo in probably a couple hours really. Really beautiful. One of the first mushrooms I've ever identified. So they're pretty easy to identify. It got warm out, so I had to change up my clothes, put something cute on, gonna make some TikToks while my camera um, charges up. So I got a couple hours here, just gonna take some macro photos, take some cute selfies, and just chill for a little bit. So. Okay, so everything is charged up now and it's time to get to business. I'm super excited to show you guys some of this shit I found. So check this out. This is bird's nest fungi. And as you can see, it kind of looks like a bird's nest. It's got the little eggs in there, and that's the spores. And when the rain hits it, it like catapults it out, out of the nest. So, super cute little guys. I love taking pictures of these. Well, I think that's all the macro photography I'm going to do today. So I'm just going to clean up camp and hit the old dusty trail. Um, headed back to base camp today. Should be a couple hour drive. And um, I'm excited to do a little mushroom hunt around base camp and show you guys some of my spots. Hopefully my, my taco spots be showing up soon. So hopefully we'll find something cool.
Oh, my God.